What's up, YouTube? How are we? We're back. Another video. Another movie. Um, so, um, the movie I watched was um, Bringing Up Baby. And um, Bringing Up Baby is an American comedy film in 1938, directed by Howard Hawks. Um, I'm just going to start off with saying um, Howard Hawks definitely was on one when he created this movie. Um... Let's just leave it at that. Um, I'll explain a little bit more after. Uh, the film goes from like a comedy to a romance to um, want to kind of blow your head off at some points. And then um, in the end, it kind of all comes together with a nice happy ending, of course. Um, so um, the main character, David Huxel, I think that's how you say his last name. Um, he's a philanthropist. Dude, get out of the way. He's a philanthropist um, who, dinosaur guy. Um, who frequently gets mistaken as a zoologist. Watch the movie. You'll get the joke. And um, for four straight years, he's been making this one dinosaur and pretty much was very stressful for him. It took four years for him to create one thing. So um, he finally is like pretty much done and he has one bone left and then he's completely done with it. And it's at this point of the movie, it is in the mail. So... He's um, kind of like stressed out, kind of whatever. And um, during all this, he's also trying to get a million dollar um, fund from a donor for a dinosaur museum. Um, and also he's getting married to a woman that doesn't like him, which was very obviously made in the movie. So he's kind of got a lot going on. He's obviously stressed out and he's just like a geek. Like he's like a, he looks like... I don't know. I don't know. It was just very, he was a very strange character. He was very funny in like the way they made him come across was very funny, but he was just like a, he was a geek. But, um, so him and, um, uh, hopefully someone that was going to fund his, uh, research and his museum, um, they went golfing and during the, when, well, while they were at golfing, he met one of the most interesting m women's I've ever seen in any movie. It was this, this girl is unlike anything. Um, the woman in the movie was named Susan Vance and everyone like everyone called her a scatterbrain. I thought that she was the anti-hero of the movie and she was pretty much just a wreck as an wreck of an individual. Um, she was very pretty and put together. It wasn't like she was like a slob, but she was just her personality and the way that she like did things was just, I don't know. I don't know. It was, I don't know what to call it, but um, I believe she's an anti-hero because she was just whatever opinion she had, whatever she was like, Hey, let's go do this it turned out to be a way bigger problem than the problem they are already trying to fix. So she was just always doing more harm than good. That's why I believe that she's the anti-hero. But um, as scenes go by, funny skits of like kind of David and Susan starting to like build a relationship and kind of be getting to know each other. Um, Susan gets a leopard. Um, why leopard? I don't know. It was from her brother from brazil it's not really important but i guess her aunt wanted it that you find out later in the movie but she gets a leopard and she um she like calls david to come over because she thinks that he's a zoologist there's the joke haha uh -huh. and um truthfully after the leopard got introduced into the movie i got a headache like, it was just too much. There was so much problems and nothing being solved. So much scatter. The whole movie, every single character was just talking over each other. And it was like they had old, like the old accents and like, they were just talking so fast. I, it was just so hard to follow along. It was easy. It was easy to follow along, but it was hard to like keep up with it. Like I almost needed to have like a halftime. I needed to like take a break, like pause the movie, go outside, take a walk, stretch, and then come back because it was just so much going on. Um, and then, so a bunch of characters got added. There wasn't just those two characters. Um, 
There was the sheriff, the, uh, another leopard who was a carnival, actual crazed leopard. And the one that she had was um, tamed. And as I'm sure you could guess what happens with that. But um, as the movie proceeds, some key things that happen during it was that Susan just falls in love with David. And she does anything that she can to keep David around. She knows that he's getting married. She knows everything and she's just doing everything in her power to not have David go back to his wife so she's like telling him to go shower and she's like taking his clothes and like having the maid bring him and go press him and clean him and then there's a bunch of other funny things and um while he was in the shower came out and was like hey I need clothes he put on her robe it was like a fluffy fluffy robe and it turns out that she wa that her, uh, Susan's aunt was coming over, and the aunt, ironically, was one of the main key investors of David's whole museum thing. So David, had, David and Susan agreed to not call him um, who he is. They called him Mr. Bones, ironically. But um, after that, it was kind of just like. They went, they both went to jail for like being crazy and like got out, the aunt got him out. Everyone like found out what it is and the movie kind of came to a close in a happy ending with her wrecking his whole masterpiece dinosaur, but he like saves her off of like the lift and like grabs her. She's like hanging and brings her up and they're like kissing while the end is like blur or fading out. So it was pretty good, but, um, I don't know if as anyone has ever seen the movie, um, this is the end. Um, like I would compare it to that. I would say that movie is 1930 version of this is the end. How you could say, a uh, million different things if you're trying to explain a movie and you don't know the title to like one of your friends that is how that movie is to this it's um i don't i don't think i'll ever watch this movie again because i was just i got a headache from it but i did think it was good there was some times where i asked it actually like burst it out laughing and my dog would like look at me like i was actually finding it comical it was very easy to follow along with, but also painful too. So I think the director was amazing and did a great job of doing his job pretty much. But I think that you need to be really into movies to like this movie because if you're not, you would just give up. But um, I thought it was a pretty good movie and yeah. So um, I'll be back next week with another video. Hope you guys like it and see you.